Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to uh, my Timu haul. Wow, never thought I'd say that. My wife's been watching Timu hauls on uh, YouTube for a while, so she decided to go shopping there and I said, do they have any kind of knives or anything? And she said, they have this and they had this little baby finger knife, which uh, I thought was pretty darn uh, cute. And I said, yeah, go ahead and order me. I, I, I don't even remember how much it was. It's just a couple dollars. Uh, but, you know, we got this. It's got a little Scandi grind on it. It's actually not too bad. I hit it on the uh, on the old uh, Lansky crock sticks, and it kind of kind of worked uh, pretty good. It's not not too bad of a little knife, but one that you know it's just more fun than anything else. So we went back, and she was making an order, and I said, you know, let's see what else they have that I could use, you know, either for myself or for the channel or whatever. And so I found this. A, a digital uh, calipers and it's kind of cool because it has like an automatic on feature if it starts moving it turns on and of course it does uh, millimeters or goes to inches and uh, I just thought you know it's kind of a kind of a handy tool because we know that the uh, measurements sometimes on websites and stuff are are not uh, exactly correct you know so it's just kind of a fun thing are they scientific uh, precision you know instruments and stuff Nah, not really but it's good enough for what we do here uh like i said it has the auto on but you do have to turn it off so you don't uh waste your battery another thing that i'd been wanting to try for a while or get for a while is a uh, scale and so i was able to get a digital scale uh it's just a regular pocket scale and it will you know go ahead and let's Let's see, we'll turn it on. Let me see. And it is in ounces. And so if we weigh our little baby knife, a, a wee knife, as uh, Patty would say. But not a wee knife, but a wee knife. And this is 0 0.408 ounces. Which is, you know, it's kind of cool that we can, you know, measure our own things and everything like that. But again, it keeps me from having to borrow the food scale that was you know in the kitchen and it doesn't really show up well on camera this will do much better on camera uh or even off camera when i'm taking notes and and getting stuff ready for for uh videos and such another thing i got for the uh the man cave out here was they had this little browning tin sign you know it's got all these old uh, shotguns and stuff on it and old cases, a couple old pistols, you know, so just, just some cool stuff. You know, these are just fun things, the old, uh, old Christmas, uh, ad. And, you know, when you look at this, a, uh, a superposed was only, uh, $260, uh, whatever year that this, uh, ad came out. And I'm sure that was a very princely sum then, but it's not so much now, but, but just kind of cool stuff to have sitting around. I like all this old, uh, these old art uh, tins and stuff like that. It just kind of makes me happy. So then I said, well, let me see about some uh, knives. And so I found this knife here. This is really the only thing I'm kind of disappointed in, in this, is this knife here. And I got this because, yes, it's kind of ugly, but it kind of reminded me if a Barlow and a Spyderco had a baby uh, it might, it might look like this, but this knife, I'm going to tell you, I've loosened the pivot. I've oiled this thing. This is the hardest knife. Uh, this is probably a nine and a half to open. It's just got this little baby, uh, blade on it. Uh, it just was kind of, kind of cute. It's kind of comfortable to actually hold in your hand, but opening and closing is a rough, gritty and hard, um, uh, experience it's getting better but it really catches up you know right there when you're trying to open it that's the worst closing is not so bad but yeah you really got to push it closed and it just does not want to get open very well so it's not really a safe knife to use because it's it would be easy to slip or to uh, have your hand in the way or something else 
So not my favorite uh, knife, but uh, one that uh, really it's just kind of a kind of a fun thing. Now I have oil on my hands because the oil ran out of the pivot. Uh, one of the other things I was looking at was a knife that kind of looked cool. It was a Tanto uh, knife, the Tanto blade. And so I got it and it's this one here, but you notice that it says uh, it has a secure X uh, sheath, but this is not a secure X sheath. Uh, and then it's like the uh, clip on here. If you were to pull this and you had this clip to your belt, it would just pull the whole sheath out with you. It does rattle in there, this knife. But then when I took the knife out, this is what got me, is that this is a full, full blown uh, clone because it says it's a cold steel OS 8A Taiwan. But the copy on the, on the uh, little ad, it said it was just a, uh, a tactical, a tactical knife and it was 5CR. And you see it says Kobun, which is uh, one of Cold Steel's uh, things. So actually this is a, is a clone. It's one that uh, I bought unknowingly, but it's uh, definitely, these things are out there. Be careful. It's not, this is not a cold steel and I'm not one for uh, advertising these things, but I just kind of wanted to let everybody know that, you know, this kind of stuff is out there. Uh, but the flashlight that I got, I got to tell you, it looks kind of funky, but this is actually a really good flashlight. It's uh, rechargeable. It's got uh, the five little LED bays in there, or a little head, and then this part lights up here. I'm gonna turn off the lights and we'll turn this on. It does have a strobe and I have to go through the strobe setting to turn off the, uh, the flashlight. So just know that, uh, you know, if that's something that bothers you, that there will be a strobe coming up. Here, hold on, let me get the light. Okay, so this is on the high setting. So it's actually pretty good. And you can see all of the, uh, all of the lights are lit. Then it goes through a low setting. And again, all of your lights are lit. And then it has a battery light. So you can tell off this fully charged now, but if it had, you know, less uh, lights than it, tells you that it's uh, needing to be charged. This next one is the strobe. And so that's pretty bright. And then the last one is the part that's on the handle. And since the part that lights up in your on off switch are here, if you're holding this like you would like you would normally hold it and say, you know, in this in this position where you're able to work the switch, when going through the modes, you can blind yourself with this because I've done it. <laughs> I tell you so you don't have to uh, so you don't have to go through the same trials and, and stuff that I did. But it's a uh, very lightweight. Uh, I'll turn the lights back on. It's a very lightweight. It's got a plastic body uh, with it having the square head, and the back of it is shaped like a uh, like a nut or a bolt. Uh, you definitely have the uh, it's not going to roll when you set it somewhere, you know, so it's kind of, kind of cool. We'll, uh, we'll measure it and, and see some stuff here in a second. Let me, uh, turn on the, the main lights and we'll get this guy turned off and we'll use our caliper and our, uh, and our scale and we'll measure these things because Measuring is is fun. Okay, so we're still back in inches. Okay, so you're looking at just about five and a half inches from stem to stern. And then for a weight, let's get a weight on it. There you go, 3.8 ounces. So a little bit of fun with flashlights, measuring tools.
couple of knives, some that are not not clones, but not particularly good. One that's pretty good, but it is a clone. <laughs> I, uh, I feel kind of bad that that it actually is a clone, but uh, but yeah, those you know, if you don't know, you don't know. But uh, yeah, just kind of a interesting type thing. Anyways, that's my T Mu haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I will definitely talk to you in the next video. We'll see you then, guys.